Welcome back to another video. Mm, it's gonna be about volume. You know, I've done a couple videos about volume, but in today's video, we're gonna be going over some, some, some do's and some don'ts and some tips and some tricks and just some just amazing, just goulash of just awesomeness. Stay tuned, it's coming right up. Questions I get asked all the time about volume. Is volume gonna work for my hair texture? Is my hair too fine? Is it too thick? There are so many variables when it comes down to volume. One of the things that really just makes it to where you're not getting volume is number one, you just don't have the right type of layer happening in your hair. The angle, the length that it's cut at, whatever it may be. But in today's video, I'm gonna to talk to you about really, you know, creating this kind of frothiness and getting like this amount of volume that is gonna kind of look seamless. That's the most important thing is because if you start cutting layers and I did another video, I talked about do's and don'ts with layering. If you wanna check out that video and you haven't seen it, go ahead and check that out right here. It's awesome. But you know, really in today's video, it's all about volume. Let's get right into it, okay? So let's say for example, you know, client A, or this could be yourself or whatever, comes in and you've got hair like this. And you're like, basically, I wanna get some volume throughout my hair. It just kind of falls a little bit flat. Now falling flat can happen in a couple different areas. It can fall flat in this area. It can fall flat right through this area. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this so you can kind of check that out. But falling flat right through here. So, and then right through this specific area. So if you've got all one length, it's not length, it's length, you know, length. You know, I, I don't even know if that's a word or not, but whatever, you know, I guess I'm making up things here. But if you have like, all one length or you just have really, really long hair. So, you know, you're working on a round surface right through here, okay? The shape of your head, hopefully your head is round. If it's not, I mean, maybe we can have an intimate conversation about that, but you know, whatever. Most people have a fairly round head. Now, traditionally, if you were to go in and layer hair, traditionally, most people, you know, they're gonna take the hair up and they're gonna layer it kind of like this, right? Now you're gonna see that the shortest point is gonna be right on the top of the head right through here. So what we're gonna be doing, guys, is that we're gonna be going through and one of the really fun things that I like to do is I like to create a line that is a little bit, not necessarily so straight, but it actually has a little bit of a curve to it like that. So we're gonna be creating our shortest point on the back of the crown right through this area. So let's go ahead and do that now. I'm gonna show you guys here. So this is my going to be my first section. Now, the thing you want to keep in mind is that I went to clip up both of these sides because I wanna show you that I basically just took a mohawk section that goes all the way down to the bottom hairline to the top hairline right through here. So you can kind of see how that works right in that specific area. When I start to cut this, I'm gonna be cutting at the shortest point, which is gonna be in this crown area. So I'm going to get rid of the top portion. I'm gonna get rid of the back portion right through here. But I'm going to start to visualize and I wanna see where my line is at, okay? Now, if I was gonna cut this right through here, I'm gonna go ahead and hold this at this point and I wanna hold up this hair and I can still see that this is going to reach right through here. And I told you that this line is gonna slightly curve out like that. So I'm gonna start at the shortest point and then you're gonna see how when you cut that line, how you're going to kind of get that shape. So let's go ahead and do this right now. All 
All right guys, so as you can see, what we did is again, you're starting off at that shortest point right through here, and then you're gradually working all of this in. Now the crazy thing about this is since you are working on a round surface like this, if you were going to spread this out, that line would go just like that, which is super dope. But since it is a round surface, you're working with a fairly straight line that has a little bit of a curve just like that. The cool thing about it with the swelling is you'll get that shortness right through here and you'll get a lot of volume through there. And then you'll be able to maintain length through here. You can cut this length to any, you know, any kind of size, but you know, so now that we've kind of worked that, I'm gonna start working the right section and then the left. And so you'll see how, what I'm gonna be doing is now that I'm done with this, I'm gonna be taking each section right next to it right up into it like that. Because now what we wanna do is we, once we have these sections coming up into this, you're gonna be creating a line like this and then a line like this, because now this hair is traveling up to this point. So you're gonna be creating that as well, which is awesome. So where you guys wanna get volume, which is the most important area anyways, is up in this area. This layering technique is bad A, beep, bad beep. It's awesome. Seriously, this is like the cat's meow, meow, meow. I mean, I, I have two cats, all right, whatever. Anyways, let's get into this. This is why you're here. What we wanna do is we wanna take out that mohawk section and we're gonna clip up the right side. Now we can work the left side. So, because a lot of times when you are working on a section like this, you might lose your guide because you're taking some hair from over here on this side. So really what we wanna do is we wanna keep all of that isolated. So now we can start to work on this side. So now we're gonna be taking those sections and it's always wise, this is a little hot tip for you. You know, it's always wise when you are doing something like this, you wanna stand on the opposite side because it's much easier to pull something towards you. As we can see in this, like it's much easier to pull something towards you than it is, you know, I mean, you can push people away. I know, I know a lot of people that push people away and they push people away. Let's embrace it, bring people in. It's about loving, it's about caring, you know, right here. This is weird. Would I do this with a client? I would do this with my wife, you know? Smother her, bring her in like this. You know, think about it like that. And it's kind of maybe a weird analogy, but you know, hey, whatever. You know, you, you guys are watching me on YouTube, so, you know, what's weirder than that? I'm just kidding. Anyways, let's get into this. Now, so one of the things that we really kind of want to pay attention to is that the angle that I'm gonna be holding, and I don't know if you guys can see that little guide right through there, but the angle that I'm holding this is now I'm on the opposite side. So I'm gonna subdivide this. I'm gonna get rid of that front half because it's much easier to hold on to something that is, um, you know, not too much for your hands. So you can see my guide right through there. And the thing you have to think about, number one, is the angle we're at here, but then I want to look at this mirror, I'm sorry, not mirror, but this camera right through here, and I wanna make sure that I'm right over the top of my other section like that. So pay attention to that, that's super crucial. Guys, if you're um, finding value in today's video, again, I know I repeat myself, like, subscribe, you know, all that good stuff. You now my wife actually, she gets, She's actually super funny because she's always like, be sure and let them know, like, subscribe. She kind of makes fun of me. Anyways, it is what it is. But guys, if you're really liking this, you know, hey, show me some love, share it with somebody. I was actually talking with one of my um, hairdressers in the salon and it's one of the assistants. She's, she's just adorable, sweet little girl. But, you know, I was asking her, um, you know, we were talking about the industry and how do you stay like motivated and how do you do like, cause I was asking her like, what kind of hairdresser does she want to be? You know, like what kind of, does she want to be known for like classic hairdressing? Does she want to do like really trendy stuff? Does she want to make money? 
you know? And so the thing about it guys is that, you know, when it comes down to being in this industry, you, you know, you have to stay, you have to constantly educate yourself on like the latest things. And one of the things I told her about was that I was kind of one of those hairdressers that I immerse myself in everything. You know, it's good that you guys are watching this right now, but I immerse myself in so much like education. I couldn't get enough. I was obsessed, literally obsessed. And so it's great that you guys are checking out this because we're dropping bombs that are gonna make you guys a better hairdresser. And if you're not a hairdresser watching, you know, this technique, like I've had some people that watch my stuff that really, they're not hairdressers. They're like, I tried it out on myself and my hair's never looked better. And I'm like, I love it. So honestly guys, you know, it's all about improving yourself and making yourself better. 1% every day. Learn something new. Okay guys, so we are gonna dry this. It is really super important to keep in mind, guys, when you are cutting this, to make sure you start off with that Mohawk guide, okay? Then you can do whatever side first, left, right, whatever it may be. But the thing about it is to clip up one side so you're not taking sections over there because sometimes you can get your guide lost, like I had mentioned before. But let's go ahead and dry this and you can start to see the really cool thing about this is that now the most important area where they want volume is up through this area. Now, and again, those angles, you know, they head out just like that. So let's go ahead and dry this. Let's do that now. So when it comes down to finishing hair off, right? Whatever you choose to finish off is going to vastly affect how the layers look. So if you go in and you use a paddle brush, that's gonna give you more of a leaner look. You go in and use a round brush like I did, you know, it's gonna give you a little bit more of a bouncy look. So it really comes down to how you finish it off. So it doesn't matter guys, if you like using a wand, a curling iron, you like using the Dyson, just whatever it is, right? Like that's vastly gonna affect how your overall look goes. Now, if you curl this a lot, it's gonna give a much different effect to it. What I wanted to do is just give it a slight little bend to it to where you can see that it creates almost kind of like this heart shape to it, to where you have like that volume and that lift through here, and then it's very lean throughout the sides. So that's exactly what's happening with that layer, is that you kind of create this effect. Now, if you layer it like this, you can push it from like left to right. Of course, there's really no product in here, but if you push that over here, even on this side, you can have that you know, look just like that. So it looks good no matter where your part is at. So keep that in mind as well. I mean, you go to tuck that behind your ear, you know, you go to kind of pull half up, like you can create some really cool things because again, you have all this short hair up through this area. So there's a lot of really cool things you can do with this. As I turn this to the side, just like this, you can start to see as I shake this out on a side profile, you can look and see, you know, where, like how much volume and lift is through this area. And you still have, again, like, you know, if I was gonna be doing this on a real person, I'd bring that length up just a little bit, just to strengthen that, give it a little bit more strength along the bottom. But you could do this layer on somebody with really long hair. So that's the cool thing is that you leave those lengths in that area so it has more strength to it. So again, this right here, this layering is one of my favorites. It's super awesome. I really hope you guys kind of dig what's happening here. And again, you can go in and you can personalize this. Of course, you can remove more weight. You can do all that good stuff. I mean, I really am undecided really what I wanna do. I don't really think I wanna do anything. I'm just gonna go in and kind of finish this off with a little bit of product. I'm gonna show you guys how you can take this from day to night, give it a little bit of, you know, 
a little bit of glam, a little bit of glitz, a little bit of pizzazz. So I really love these, you know, powder volumizers. They're so much fun, so much fun. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna spray that in there. Create some volume and some lift and some texture. You know, I would, the links are gonna be below what I recommend, some of my favorites. But as you can see, you can just kind of spray that right in there. And the other really cool thing, I mean, if you like big hair, which I love volume, I think volume is just so much fun. Fabulous, look how fab this is. Like that is so much fun. This is like, Jake, I want something that is gonna give me so much attention. I'm gonna walk in someplace and I'm just gonna command, command that room. I'm like, I got you covered. Got you covered, girl. You know, big hair is coming back, guys. People like big hair. You're seeing a lot more big waves happening, big time Saturday night, but it's got a little modern twist to it, right? I keep twisting some of those pieces together. Guys, I hope you guys enjoyed what I did today. Seriously, man, I love sharing it. I love hearing that you guys are having amazing hair. You're following my techniques, all that good stuff. Honestly, guys, it just warmed my heart to share my knowledge because I never had anybody like me sharing stuff that made me a better hairdresser. Everybody just held on to it back in the day. But in this new world we live in, it's awesome. So thank you guys for joining the tribe, following all that good stuff. Like I said, if you enjoy this, share some love. Guys, I will see you in the next video.